Hello everyone and welcome to the first match of our King of the Ring tournament. We're kicking things off here with a cracker as we relive the epic feud that is Joe versus Punk. Now at the end of this match I'll show you the rest of the brackets for this side of the tournament. Uh, but I can uh, assure you that this is not the only cracking match you've got planned out for you. We've got some big ones along the way. I've tried to focus in this tournament along the lines of um, epic feuds. If you will. And I think that's a cool way of doing it. I think, um, yeah, showcasing a lot of epic feuds along the way and... Uh, Obviously, the winner of this one will get an opportunity at the Intercontinental Championship, not the main championship. The reason behind that, in my opinion, might just be me, I don't know, but... I've always seen the King of the Ring mainly as a tournament for the best in-ring wrestlers. Not necessarily the best characters or anything like this, but the actual best wrestlers the company has to offer. And I've also always fought that with the Intercontinental Championship. I mean, the World Championship is for... The big character, the money makers, the merchandise sellers, all this, that, and the other. Whereas the Intercontinental Championship has generally been a bit more about the actual most... I mean, not always, never on, there's been exceptions, but... The IC belt has normally been about who is the best wrestler. And I felt like that would be a great opportunity for us here today. To kick things off with. I mean, Joe vs. Punk is a big one from a past. We've seen it many times, probably on this channel as well, to be honest with you. As Punk with a big crossbody there. Let's see where they are in the ranking systems as well. I mean, CM Punk currently sits in 31st position on plus 10. Whereas I think Samojo is actually high, if my memory says me correct. I can't see him with an... Oh, there he is. 13th position. Uh, so Joe... Where's my mouse gone? There it is. Joe's on plus 15, Punk's on plus 10. So they're both on the high end of the rankings. That's not going to be the same for everyone in this competition. There are some people that are low down that this competition could greatly help. I think these are probably two of the highest rated in this competition. As Punk now slams on the back of the head of Joe and on the back of the arm as well. And big springboard line salt from the top rope as well. There's the pin. Only a two count. Big boot into the spine now by Punk on Joe. Punk now with a clothesline into the super kick. There's the pin. One, two. Only a two count. Punk has dominated the majority of this match so far. And he continues to do so, slamming the face of Joe into the mat. Now Joe slowly makes his way to the corner. Punk runs through with the... I'm not sure if that was a knee or a boot. Whatever it was, it was bloody effective. Punk now with a strike. Big running knee strike. Punk up on the top. Went for the moonsault once again, but completely missed. And Punk up on the top. Going to go with a big elbow drop. Into the pin. It's a one. Two. Only a two count. I said that Punk has absolutely dominated this match. Joe's had literally no offense at all. And Punk looking to finish things off with his back to the hard cam. Hits the GTS. Samoa Joe folds. Still only a two count. Joe's got to get some offense in this match at some point, surely. Punk dives through and takes Punk uh, Joe out even. And finally, Samoa Joe getting some offense. It is on the outside, but... I mean, if it's a count out, then... Uh, yeah, I mean, count out rules do... Apply. I would hate for this match to finish in a count out as Joe just powerbomb Punk into the corner. That's brutal. Joe now sending Punk back into the ring. Samoa Joe follows while Punk's back up on his feet though, and that gave Punk the opportunity to turn things back around. Him with a Falcon Arrow. 
CM Punk now. Big boot as well on Samoa Joe. Punk heading up to the top. Him with a big splash lands on Samoa Joe's gut. And Punk now taking Joe at the top as he thinking going retro Ring of Honor here. He's got the arms hooked. He's thinking the Pepsi plunge from the top rope. That's got to be enough, surely. Surely Samoa Joe is eliminated from the King of the Ring. And what a win that is for CM Punk. He moves up to a plus 11 in the ranking system. Samoa Joe in his first match of the year moves down to a plus 14. Big win for CM Punk. He moves on to round number two. And he'll be facing the winner of our match tomorrow. So before we finish things off here today, let's go back and have a look at the rest of the brackets for this side. Um, oh, I'm on the wrong screen. There we go. Boom. So for the left-hand side of the bracket, we have still got lined up for you tomorrow. The big match between Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. A, uh, an incredible feud and friendship across many different companies. Then we've got... Gunther going up against Ilja Dragunov. Let's see if we've seen Dragunov and Gunther have incredible matches in NXT and WXW. And it'd be great to see what they can do in real life when hopefully they collide in the King of the Ring. I've got a feeling they might not, but I really hope they do. And then our final one, not really a massive feud, but one of the best matches of all time. Will Ospreay versus Brian Danielson will make up the rest of this half of the bracket. So we'll do these four matches, or three more matches, and then we will show you the second half of the bracket once we get over there. Uh, but I can promise you it's every bit as strong as this side as well. I love you and leave you. Good night. God bless. i said, and I will see you tomorrow for Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens in the first round of our King of the Ring tournament.